Hello and good morning, it's HJam and today I'll be talking about how to get your chip tunes from LSDJ and stick them in something like Unity 3D. So this is a little project I've been working on. It just needs a few more features and it'll be ready for the game store. Uh, today I'm just going to be focusing on the music. So here's the little track I've been working on. Uh, I've set this up in live mode so it's just easier to work with. Uh, just play through. So what you really want to do is have this uh, export all hours once, so you just hit play, runs through the song and then goes into the scenes. So there's a couple ways you can set this up. Uh, the main way I'm going to be doing this song is I'm just going to be playing it in live mode, record the whole session and then put it into uh, Audacity. Also with my setup I have my mixer ready to go just so I can change a few settings outside of Audacity. Uh, but you can plug this directly into your microphone port and just record the whole song there and then edit it inside. So depending on your song there's going to be a couple ways you can set this up so you can record the whole lot. First you want to make sure that every chain is connected so you can play through once all you have to do is hit start, run through and then put on to Audacity. So I have my 00, zero as the nothing group. It just plays nothing. If you have any notes that lead through a group, so say you have um, the phrase goes through the song and then the next note extends into the next phrase, you might need to set this up differently. If you have any notes that don't cut through to the next phrase, then this process is right pretty easy. All you have to do is go into your nothing group and add a kill command at the start. So that what this will do is just cut off any sound from leading and then that will create a nice sharp drop in Audacity that we can see and cut at that point. So what you want to do is grab that and just duplicate it along all these groups. Alright, so once you've filled everything up this comes to the next step where you want to figure out if you want to split the channels, play it all at once or separate the audio. So this effect may not work if you use panning in your music, so use the left or right or O command. Uh, but what you can do is say you want to split drum and bass, which I've got on these two groups, and the melody, which is kept on these two groups. I can use B and then hold right or left and then switch the channel. So what happens when I do that? In Audacity, you can pick up a stereo channel. I can use that to export multiple tracks. Now that we've got the Game Boy set up to record, now we need to set up Audacity to pick it up. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that the microphone is set to picking up the audio. So you just got to make sure what is what it is. So built-in input if you're just plugging it straight into the computer. But I've got my mic audio set up with the mixer, so I'm just going to pick audio codec. And first off, I want to test the levels. So if I have it running, it's pretty close. I'm just going to select something. And I just want to make sure it doesn't clip, but it's loud enough that it doesn't need any extra uh, fiddling in here. All right. I think that's close. So once we have that, I'm just going to stop that, delete, and I restart my recording, go back to the start of the music and start recording those sections. Alright, so now that's all recorded, I have my little sections, so if we play that back, we have melody on one side, which is channel right, yep, so what I can do now, I'm just going to copy this section and just click outside of the first group, paste, and we're going to mute that channel. So if we have a look at it, it's created this nice clean line. 
and then if we zoom right in we can go and say this dot here that's when it activates we can use that as a point to delete it so I'm just going to grab make sure you grab the edge delete And we'll go zoom in here, make sure we grab the tail. Delete that. Now this recording is ready to loop. So if I just close this so I can get it to loop and hold shift play. All right, there's a bit of a click. So we need to figure out where that is. Just go and grab the pencil tool. Bring that back in. All right, that track is ready. So what I can do now is go split stereo to mono. And now we have two mono tracks, which we can have those both playing in Unity. So I'm just gonna stop here, record my music file and then move on to unity all right once you got export from audacity now it's just to bring it into unity and fix it up so i've brought it in all you really need to do is drag and drop it into a file i've just stuck mine into the musics under sound and here's my sound file so everything's ready if you're going to create a system that dynamically makes music, you'll have to create out the code system for that. Uh, this is just a one playthrough loop. So I'm just going to make sure that all this is right. Uh, make sure it does get compressed because it's going to be for mobile. Uh, but I did write it at CD quality. So you can scale it up and down inside Unity if you want. So you can decompress it, Volvus quality. You can drop the quality to make the... Uh, how much it's going to take up around but I'm just going to leave it the way it is so I'm just going to revert now what I've done in the scene is create a music game object so it's got its transform that I've connected it to the main camera but inside that I have an audio source so this allows me to play music so all I really need to do is grab my music out of way put it into the audio clip and make sure it loops and plays on awake and that's pretty much said you probably want linear roll off and you want it close to the audio listener which I have on the main camera so both these components are relatively close to each other should be able to pick up the sound fine I've also attached a music uh, mixer board so if I jump it down here you can see that I have the controls set up here and then in script I've written some code to move it around so if I just open that just some functions I can call or one function that changes the setup and then I can do extra stuff like extra effects and that but let's see how it sounds so we'll start the game and we'll turn on the music So that's pretty much the process of going from getting your hardware sound onto uh, something like Unity. Hopefully this helps you out with your development. So please feel free to leave any comments below. If you like anything like this and want to keep in touch, just feel free to subscribe. 
And other than that, you have a good day and I'll see you soon.